So the howl of the dogs, the howl in the background. I mean only one thing. I'm in Finland and I'm here to meet some huskies. I'm excited. Hello. <laughs> it sounds like an F1 race. The engines <laughs> Engines are going. Hey, how's it going? So I'm at Helsinki Airport. I'm not going to get on a plane. I'm actually going to be getting on this minibus. And I've basically had the privilege and the honor to be invited on a tour of central Finland. And when I say central Finland, Finland is an incredibly big country. It's huge. Check out the map. It's massive. I'm going to head 300 kilometers to the north to the Uvaskela region. And in that region, I hope to see some moose. <laughs> <laughs> I hope to see some huskies. I... Wow. I hope to see some reindeer. It's a little bit dangerous to touch the one, but... I'm excited. I'm really excited. So join me on that journey while I explore the Uvaskala region of Finland. Hopefully this bus gets us there. First stop, 300 kilometers. They say we've got to go, so we have to stop off in this Finnish petrol station. I have to say, the petrol station is far nicer in Finland than it is in the United Kingdom and a lot of other countries. Finnish drinks, maybe. Some of these are Finnish. Prices are not cheap, but standard brandy pomac, almost five euros. Ah, this is fairly decent value. But look, I guess it's two and a half percent, so it might be done on alcohol strength so that the stronger the alcohol zero percent only one euro strangely that is cheaper than the water here let's get myself back on the bus before i miss it certainly more luxurious than most of my ukraine bus journeys at the petrol station i stopped off and i got some of the local cuisine this is from the region, not a product placement. We are a big fan of licorice in Finland, obsessed with licorice. A coated sweet with white chocolate and licorice on the inside. I've had one, actually pretty decent, pretty decent. And I don't know if I could eat more than a couple a day, but worth trying. Not an advertisement. And then there was another one. This one is raspberry licorice. I'm gonna give this one a go. It's like a piece of chewing gum, but tasty. Tastes like chewing gum, but inside, a surprise awaits licorice. Licorice isn't that popular in the UK and most of the rest of the world, but Scandinavians absolutely love it. I was completely wrong. It's actually licorice chewing gum. <laughs> it's... You can stomach it. They won't bite your hands or? Dog. Dog. Oh. Oh. Well, here I am, meeting some huskies for the first time. These huskies are actually working huskies, and this old chap is actually retired. And he's the father of some of these guys, but look at this, this guy's eyes are intense. Amazing. He's the oldest one. This old chap here, 13 years old. Always uh, let them smell you first. Huskies are very friendly animals. This guy's retired, but check out over here as I'm about to turn around. We've got some young chaps. 13 years old. Most huskies don't live past 14, so um, a pleasure meeting you, old man. Look at these young boys, or girls. 
There we are. The little pups down here. It was like in the dragon's lair, or the, the husky's lair. Hello, little guys. <laughs> so I was just hearing from the lady over there. The reason for the difference in colors and eyes is you notice this guy's got a blue eye and a, and a brown eye. And the guy we met earlier has got a, intensely blue eyes. And sometimes the snow can cause the sort of colorization of the eyes. And this guy, orange eyes. But as you see, famous last words, very friendly. They're not going to nip my hands. The Siberian Huskies have lived amongst human beings for almost nine and a half thousand years, some suggest. Friendly to humans. <laughs> wow. What's his name? Otto. Otto. <laughs> Hello. And the thing about Huskies, they have two coats. They have a thick outer coat and an inner coat and they can withstand temperatures of minus 60 minus 70 I mean obviously that wouldn't be nice for them at minus 70 but they just about survive I mean right now it's it's just under zero at the moment this is warm weather for them in the old days they would be let loose during the summer and they'd go roam and they'd go hunting in their packs and once the weather set in this is around Siberia uh, where they originally came from but they spread throughout all of northern Europe and also North America with the Inuit they would have come down obviously the ground gets hard and frozen and it's a little bit more difficult to find food they came and sheltered with the humans and obviously it was a bit of a playoff there the humans obviously used them for their help dragging materials transporting materials getting them places but also they got the help also but they got the warmth they got the protection but mostly they got the food and humans were able to provide food for them. So it was a trade-off. Amazingly beautiful animals. A little bit of a sad situation, the popularization of the Game of Thrones series with the wolves, the bear wolves, even though they're not related to the huskies and effectively Game of Thrones animals, a fictitious animal. No? It caused an uptick in the number of people to buy huskies. Huskies need a lot of exercise and people in the cities were buying huskies and then after a few months or a couple of years the shelters all across the western world particularly but not just the west, Korea and Japan were seeing a large uptick in huskies being put into shelters because people realised they couldn't take care of the huskies. Remember a dog is for life not just for Christmas and a dog is not an accessory. So, hello. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, there's some territory being marked over there. The old man was in the shelter, and then the the young chaps. He's out there now. They thought, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna mark my territory here. That's classic, being a dog. <laughs> You certainly know where they've been. As soon as they exit, suddenly yellow snow is created. It's not just the slush puppy around here, it's the yellow snow marking their way. Hello. Don't pee on me. Like that, do you? You like that? Like that. Hello. Hello. Yeah, they like that. Definitely likes that. Yeah. Well, they have incredibly, compared to most dogs, they have incredibly soft, soft fur, or thick fur. And they, the fur sheds after the winter. So these dogs, if you were to keep them, you need to be regularly grooming these dogs. You see the, you see the hair comes off just like that. These dogs need to be groomed at least every few weeks. Oh, I'm concerned that yellow snow's gonna go on me. <laughs> 
Oh, there's a lot of yellow snow. Do you want more? There's the old boy. This is the harness. Oh, okay. So these are now, this guy's now being put into action. He's got the, the old harness on. Slowly the harnesses will get put on each individual dog. Do you want to try to dress the dog? I need to watch you, I think. <laughs> I'll try, I'll try. You want to? There we go. That's right. Go. So what do I? Yeah, put it up between your legs. Yeah. And then put the, uh, this big loop through the head. Oh, the big one. Big one. And, yeah. and then the smaller loop through ah. the head. This one loop. through the head. Like that? And yeah, and then I lift the collar up. And then we need to uh, get the legs. So from this hole, lift the leg and he, another one. He knows what he's doing. And this he's helping you quite nicely. Good job. So now he's ready. Wow. And then the, how much can this guy pull? Uh, about one's weight. So the average is counted so that one husky can uh, take a load of his own weight. So about 25, 20 kilos. Amazing. Look at this. Your eyes. This guy's just going to stay behind. I think he's he's too, he's getting too old for the uh, beautiful eyes. Beautiful eyes. Yeah. Lola. Oh, hello. 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 Yeah. Look at those eyes. You are beautiful. Aren't you? Okay, okay. This guy's a lot more calm. Look at these eyes. Look at those eyes. Okay. Okay. Like that. Oh boy. We have them too. Oh boy. I have a dog. My dog is Parson. Hello. It's like they got these little come meet the crew. Come meet the crew. Normally you wouldn't want to do this with most dogs, but huskies are very friendly. Careful with their paws, they've got sharp paws. But, yeah, you got sharp paws. But you see the, oh, that doesn't look comfortable. That definitely doesn't look comfortable. Yeah, they're raring to go, they're raring to go. Oh, <laughs> just got a scratch there. <laughs> Almost scratched my eye out. <laughs> You're gonna scratch my eye out there. It's a bit of a howl from the dogs being left behind because every single dog wants to go on the little adventure that is pulling us behind them. There was suddenly a chorus of howling. I was like, oh! Yeah, I'm not as good at howling. <laughs> there we go. It's What you find with uh, Siberian Huskies and all Huskies, they tend to howl rather than bark. They do bark as well, but predominantly they howl. It's a little bit much for these guys. This is, this is the highlight of the day where they, generally they really enjoy this. This is what they live for. They live for the fact that they're gonna go out. They, <laughs> it sounds like an F1 race. The, the engines, <laughs> engines are going. Eng <laughs> it's like, the older guy
guys at the back, the younger ones at the front, uh, or maybe the, the smaller ones, the women, and they're ready. He's like, come on guys. <laughs> Fantastic. What do you say to make them go? Do you say is something in Finnish? Yeah. Yes, we have your Finnish language. We're going, I say, menna. 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 <laughs> A massive thank you for joining me in this video. If you haven't watched one of my videos before, I'm Alex and I'm the Wandering Englishman. If you can click that like button, that allows the YouTube algorithm to know that this video is of quality and it might actually show it to other people. Wow. If you're curious about this tour, check out the link in the description. This really is quite astonishingly beautiful. The lakes of Finland, the surrounding oh, bumps, and we get to go as, as fast as the dogs want to run, really, and they really do enjoy it. I'm, I'm loving it. Days. This is how I guess, they, they do this for actual races. So if they have competitions in Finland, and you can just racing dogs in some of the some of the dogs in the kennels. Uh, these guys, I think, just for the benefit of myself and the others on my group. But amazing, amazing animals. is the corners. It's just like, imagine when you were a kid going down on the slopes, but this time you get to go up the hill, you get to go up and there's a bump here. Whee! <laughs> Truly. <laughs> wow. Honestly, that's quite an experience. I'd not done that before, and that is one for the bucket list. Really, really enjoyed it. <laughs> really, really enjoyed that experience. <laughs> well, I wanted to say thanks to these guys because these guys certainly did a great job. If you are curious about this tour, the information's in the description below. But these guys are going to have a nice little meal now. They've been run to, well, not exhaustion, but they've certainly had their exercise. They've got the blood flowing. There's no fitness problems with these chaps. This guy's a young chap, isn't he? Or is it female? No, these are. The only way to tell is you look underneath them and say, thanks, thanks very much, guys. I really appreciate it. And they look at me strangely going, who is this guy holding the camera? I'm just learning from the lady that owns this place. Her son has won the European Championships and the World Championships and dog racing. This is the place to do it if you want to get good at dog racing. Are they just as friendly? It's okay? Yes, they are. It's okay. So you expect... It's a good little end exit, isn't it? So you expected just to see huskies on this adventure. No, these are these are racing dogs. So these are the fastest dogs you can have behind the sleigh. Looks like one of the musketeers. Like that. Hello. 
Good to meet you. Good to meet you. He's, he just, he's just happy, he's happy to see it, I think. Dog Central, we've got some more huskies here. We've got some more huskies. Hello. Hello. Not gonna bite me. Look at those teeth. Look at those teeth. You guys are fast, are you? You're fast. Fastest huskies out there. They're referred to as black dogs these. It's supposedly the fastest, most powerful dogs you can possibly get. Super fast. Because they combine the Alaskan husky with the Greyhound and the German Pointer. And then you get, you get these guys. Amazing. Amazing. So as the sun sets and the dogs have been put away, time to go have a hot cup of whatever in here. Let's see what they've got in this beautiful house. So the dogs have got their drink. I have hot berry juice and I have a some sort of biscuit. Ginger. Gingerbread type biscuit. Very tasty. Very, very tasty. Well, I've just pigged out on gingerbread and berry tea, be berry, I almost slipped out on my ass there. I have berry um, wine, and he probably smells the gingerbread all over me. He's like, oh, I want some gingerbread. And I have to say, I really enjoyed that. That was the first time I've been slow riding. I almost slipped again. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed that content. The information to book yourself something similar is in the description below. I do check out my website and you can meet these guys and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next video until the next adventure there we go there we go there we go no eyes <laughs>